reason display came on board is simple supply and demand. There was so much inventory, banner advertisements, you know, impressions, billions of impressions that went unsold every day. And the system was inefficient because as a buyer, as I said, I was struggling to get conversions. If I didn't have the right product, it didn't really lend itself to that type of advertising. I would get, you know, a ton of impressions, but I would get no conversions. I would get no ROI on my investment. And sometimes I would get incredible ROI. It really depended on the product. And what I found was, you know, without having an idea of what worked and what didn't, I couldn't tweak it. You know, simple concept, concept, the highest bid wins, okay, it's an auction, and you pay one cent above the second place bid. So if Mark bids, fit, bids 50 cents and I bid a dollar, I win, but I pay 51 cents, okay? Now, you bid on a CPM basis. CPM is cost per thousand. M in Roman numerals is a thousand. So cost per thousand. So I pay one one thousandth of 51 cents for that single impression. Okay. And the way in which each impression goes up on auction. Okay. And it's auctions at the ad exchanges. Okay. You have all the attributions. So in this example, a, a woman who's married lives in Boston and has a newborn, an ATF is above the fold, okay? And we'll double back on above the fold. If anyone's buying any RTB traffic or any banner advertisement, you should really stay above the fold. Um, and if you are advertising below the fold, you need to pull that out and run that as a separate test. You'll find that you're wasting your money doing anything below the fold, okay? Um, but you can target, now again, I have only four plus the ATF on this particular example. But the reality is there are thousands of attributes for each individual person, okay? So as the system works, each one of these companies, all right, down the left-hand side are, for argument's sake, they're SSPs and they're ad exchanges, um, the difference being uh, size and who they represent. But these are the suppliers. So for me, I choose all the sites that I want to put into this system, uh, that I want to run ads on, okay? Our system handles 98% of the internet. So wherever somebody travels on a retarget, 98%. If you want to put uh, Alexa.com in here, if you want to put a site in here, you can. Um, the list is well over a couple of million. I mean, Google alone uh, puts over 2 million sites into the system. So. I, we can't supply a site list. You'll put the site in if you get traffic and you know it takes RTB. I will tell you that it's rare, rare that you don't get traffic on a site. So most everybody puts some form of their inventory. Maybe they don't put 100% of their site traffic in to RTB, but almost every site puts site traffic into RTB. So you can reverse engineer where your competitors' ads run and advertise there. Uh, you can choose sites based on keyword and pick the sites and put them into the system. And if anyone's ever done peel and stick with with PPC, the way I do it is we put a master, we put like you know two three hundred sites in. We get a transparency report the next day. We see which sites we got clicks on, and the ones that didn't, you pay for the impressions. You don't want to keep paying for sites that aren't getting click throughs, right? So we have a whitelist and a blacklist scenario in our software. You just put all the sites that you want to eliminate. Don't advertise here. You blacklist all the sites that are not converting and keep the ones that are converting. And then what I do is when I see conversions on a site, I peel it out and create a new targeting group. And therefore, I can determine exactly how much I can afford to pay for advertising on that site because I can drill it down by doing that and figuring out the CPA on that particular site. So there's some really cool things in here. And like I said, we have 30 billion banner impressions daily, which means much more traffic than you're going to be able to get by, uh, you know, going out and going door to door one side at a time and seeing if you can advertise. The next thing you can do is geotargeting. And we're going to talk about being able to sell this to businesses, but you can drill down based on geographics, state, uh, on the city level. Um, we're in 241 countries and 40 languages. I, I get asked this question all the time, uh, you know, on a specific site, uh, you know, excuse me, a specific country. Um, Brazil gets like 1.2 billion hits, you know, uh, banner impressions per day. 
I have all the stats in all our, all our countries. Um, you know, the Philippines gets over four hundred. You had to spend three hundred and sixty thousand dollars in media spend for them to give you access to the software, and you had to have an ad agency. Okay, and that's beyond what you're going to have to do for conversion for managing the site. I mean, they, they don't support, they don't train. That's not what they do. They want you to walk in with an ad agency who already knows how to do all this stuff. There's no training section at these companies. There's no online training. There's no customer support. I get an account rep who answers tech questions, but if I said, by the way, you know, could you look at my banners and tell me why I'm not converting? They don't tell you. They don't answer that. So you're talking about a huge opportunity because even if you were a, I, I have a guy in Rochester, New York, who has a client who does uh, pickup and delivery for dry cleaning. How could we target that? If you asked him, what zip codes do your clients live in? Um, what kind of incomes do they have? What kind of professions do they have? Is it suits? Is it uniforms? I mean, you can target police officers. You can target, you know, by the profession. You can target executives. And you're talking about local traffic. So, you know, you control the bid. You can put it in for 25 cents, 20 cents, or whatever. You know, you, you obviously have to win a bid that might not be enough, but you'll see your cost per clicks coming in at, you know, 20 cents, 25 cents, 30 cents. You have an opportunity with our system. It's 100% autonomous. The private label system, they won't even know we're there. You don't give them a code that says click certain and they put it on the site. They, we give you a login for your clients so they can look at their stats. They don't go to click certain. It's just a stat company that we own. And they won't, <laughs> if you can figure out where our tracking is, you can figure out where our code is, you're smart enough to write this software yourself. No one can do it. Okay? They're never going to know we exist. They will think you wrote the software for this.